Are you tired of dying from arc throwers from across the galaxy? From Bile Titan's acid spit? Well then, hold on to your helmets, because today we're about to dive into the heart-pounding Warbond, Cutting Edge. Give us money, and we'll give you power. Unlimited power. Okay, thank you to the narrator. I appreciate I don't need no thanks from you, asshole. Okay. <laughs> With the Cutting Edge Warbond, should you buy it? I'm going to do a deep dive into showing you all the most important equipment in this war bond so i'm going to start off with the sickle and then i'll work my way down so with the las sickle it's actually it's really good against the uh the smaller mobs i tried it against some fully armored enemies it took me a long time to kill a charger but against everything else it seemed pretty good against a stalker it was honestly kind of kind of bad but it could just be me um Obviously, against a Bile Titan, good luck. <laughs> uh, I didn't try that because I know the results. Okay, so the Sickle is amazing against the Troopers, the Commissars. If you get behind the Scout Striders. And also the Devastators if you manage to get the Headshot, which this one is really good for precision damage. As long as you get Headshots, right? Uh, against Hulks and Tanks, I do not recommend. It, it is possible, but it'll take a really long time. Uh, as well as like the uh, the towers, I do not recommend it. Okay, so when you do a charge fire, it takes nine seconds until you have to reload it. And then if you want to have it like unlimited ammo, you, what you want to do is stop around the eight to 8.5 seconds. And then the cooldown is 14 to 15 seconds. So at that point, I would just switch to my support weapon, let it cool down. It'll, it takes a while, but it is, good for killing all the smaller enemies. So onto the armor. Armor rating is 100, speed is 500, and stamina regain is 100 for the first two armor sets. The last armor set is a 50 armor rating, 550 speed, and 125 stamina regain. So that's the light armor that you can run fast with, which is really good. Okay, so the armor passive provides 95% resistance to arc damage. This thing is an absolute beast if you have a whole team that wants to run arc throwers on top of the new shotgun. Okay, so to start off, I wanted to show how many shots it takes from the arc thrower. It actually took around 9 to 10 shots. So being able to take that many shots, you could actually be a conduit as well. So you could run up to an enemy and your teammate could shoot you and it'll chain onto the enemies as well. So it's pretty useful in that regard. But also I tried out the EMS orbital. I understand it's not lethal, but I tried it thinking that it wouldn't slow you down, but it still does slow you down. I thought you'd be able to run through it without any issues, but it's still the same. Okay, so now this armor actually highlights the Tesla tower. That thing is insane. You could throw it down now, and before, it takes one hit from the Tesla tower. If you have a shield on, it's two, but so... When I was testing it out, it actually takes five shocks directly from the Tesla tower. But the thing is, when there's enemies around, it won't target you as much. So it's insane in that regard. So, so yeah, I really feel like the stock market for the Tesla tower is going to go up. <laughs> Very useful if your whole team runs the armor set, though. All right, so now going on to the Arc Blitzer shotgun. Okay, so trying it against the warriors, it's it'll headshot them pretty easily. And then also against the, the brood commanders, those guys are so annoying because of their armor. But with the brood commanders, whenever they're gonna attack you, if you shoot them, it'll immediately take their head off. If not, it usually takes around four to five shots, but it's still good because it pushes them back. So I did try this against a charger, it took me so long. I do not recommend it. I mean, if you find yourself in a desperate situation like I did here, because I was just testing it, <laughs> I mean, you could kill it, but just use the EAT. It took me around 10 to 15 shots shooting it directly in the butt, and to the face, it did not work at all. Okay, and I also tried it on the Bile Titan, and this thing was not working at all. I shot around 100 shots into the Bile Titan, and I did not see it drop at all it didn't do anything to it unless it was me and i was aiming at the wrong location but this thing does not work against the bile titan okay so onto the automatons 
it works really well again against troopers the commissars the the uh berserks as well so with this with the smaller enemies it's really easy to take them out uh with the scout striders i i noticed it was i was having a lot of issues because with the arc thrower it would usually take two shots to hit him or even one if you aim a little higher i tried aiming higher and nothing was working so whenever you come across a scout strider you just have to get behind it and usually shoot it with another gun if not for some weird reason it was not targeting targeting the enemy that was operating it so it took me three shots aiming at him just use your uh, secondary to shoot the uh, the back of the scout strider but for the berserker and for the devastators that it was actually really good the berserkers it pushes them back and that's one thing that I find very useful especially if you're running away and there's like three berserkers after you with their chainsaws it will push them back which is very helpful and it usually takes three to four shots it could potentially take one shot if you hit him directly in the head but I found it very difficult to do so I was just I was just hip firing most of the time just because when I would try to precision aim it would not target the head for some weird reason okay so with the devastators and the rocket devastators very good uh, the only thing is against the rocket devastators I found it's very difficult just because they have insane range on you they could snipe you from across the map with a rocket so the thing is with them just hide behind cover and whenever you find a chance make sure to hit him and it'll push him back and stagger them and then just shoot him two two or three more times and they'll drop okay so I actually tried it against the Hulk as well the Hulk it did take me a while uh, <laughs> this thing Again, with it was kind of similar to the Charger. It took me, I'd say, around 20 to 30 shots. I don't recommend it at all. <laughs> Just use an arc thrower or even use a rail, on, rail cannon on, on safe. I also tried it on the tanks, and I just had a terrible time. I did not finish testing it because I was just stressed out. I'm sorry, but I, I have a feeling it takes the same around 20 to 30 shots, especially against the, uh, the towers as well with the cannons. But... I don't think it actually could take out cannons because of range, but if it can, that's awesome. Let me know if it does work. I didn't want, I did not want to test it out because I was getting destroyed out there. <laughs> okay, so another thing that's good and bad about this weapon is the environmental objects. So when it comes to the terminid spores and the uh, yellow terminid spikes, I don't know what they're called, it can't activate it. So that could be useful to you. In certain situations but against the the like the spikes it kind of sucks because if you shoot at it it won't activate but it's really good when it comes to the automaton mines that are on the floor because it will not activate it even if you shoot it at point blank it does not activate and also with the disabled hell bombs it will not activate it so it could be a good and a bad thing so if you're unaware if there's a hell bomb there and you shoot at it you shoot at it it won't activate it so that'll be good however if there is a hell bomb there and there's a shitload of enemies and it doesn't activate just switch your secondary and shoot it okay guys so lastly for the blitzer the reason why it's amazing is it has unlimited ammo so you can mix and match your support weapon with it and you'll always have ammo and not have to resupply okay guys so the next piece of equipment is the stun grenade i actually had a lot of success using this thing um this thing could stop chargers from charging you you could actually cook it as well and throw it and it'll activate a lot sooner or you could direct impact them and it'll blast in their face. I also had success using this against the Bile Titans. Bile Titans, as soon as they're gonna shoot at you, just launch it at their face and they'll be stunned. This thing is actually very useful if you wanna take out Bile Titans against the uh, Terminids, it's very useful. Against Automatons, it was actually working pretty good as well. It stuns everything. Uh, it also stuns the Hulks briefly and it's pretty good it didn't work against tanks unless i was again user error it could be me but it wasn't working against the tank when i tried it but against the other elite enemies it's actually really good so i recommend the stun grenade for sure okay guys so the las 7 dagger this thing only works good against smaller enemies i do not recommend this gun i would rather prefer the revolver over this this thing, I mean, I understand you could ha potentially have unlimited ammo if you stop the charge, but I really don't recommend it. This thing was not working good for me at all. I really hope they uh, buff this because I, I have a feeling this thing could be very useful. So in conclusion, I highly recommend this one, especially if you're into ARC. 
and you have a full team that's using arc weapons only. Uh, everything I went through on the video are my reasonings for it. Being able to run through Tesla Towers without getting killed. Uh, being able to throw your stun grenades and stun Vile Titans. And the Blitzer is actually really good for ad control. The only downside to me right now is the uh, LAS dagger and the localization booster. It reduces the time between enemy encounters, but I didn't notice a difference. I think I might be engaging in too many uh, fights, so I didn't notice much of a difference. Okay, so please comment. Finish the damn video and get back to work, soldier. For democracy. Okay, you heard him. Peace out, guys. Stay safe out there, Helldivers.